Hey guys, today we're gonna go over mixing hip hop kicks. So I'm gonna, I pulled up a kick and we're gonna mix it together. So here we go. Let's listen to the actual, just the kick in itself. Perfect. All right, so it has a little low mid, um, it has some low mid presence, some, some, uh, there's no need to add some extra low low end presence there because it already has that i i need some clarity on 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 the punch so what i'll do is i'll bring up an eq so let's bring this eq up take out the by bypass okay this is what i'm talking about uh clean up the mid the, the mid range so let's clean up here right here you have a 1k so 1k to like about 3k we want to bring it up a little bit just a tiny notch uh, careful here with your cue. You don't want to widen it too much. Perfect. And always when you're doing this, keep in mind, you're, you're thinking about uh, the whole picture. You're always thinking about the whole picture. How's it going to come come to be, right? So when you're doing this, think, okay, where where, where what am I carving out? So I'm carving out uh, for any instruments, any synths in the middle. So that's what I'm doing here. Here I need some some punch here. I need I need to hear it. Let's let's pretend it was a, a real kick. I need to hear that the where 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 the kick where the pedal hits, right? Now let's bypass it. Okay. Awesome. And as you can hear, you hear clarity, right? And another thing that I would do, just just uh, make 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 be accustomed to this. Um, I would clean out the the 20 hertz from 20 to 50. You're really not gonna use anything. Um, speakers are not made to be be able to project that either. So let's bring that up to 24. Let's kind of clean this up, right? Just clean this dirt. And if you're not sure, you know, because I know you know, th there's always a moment where we're learning this, right? If you're not sure. Go drastic. Obviously, we could hear that, right? Perfect. Now let's let's hear the before and after. Big difference, right, guys? You hear that? Now, last thing, last but not least, least guys, I want you guys to hear. There's 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 a tone there. Right. This is what I want you guys to learn as well is critical listening. There's a tone there. That's good. We hear we hear the punch and we hear the low end and the punch, but there's something wobbly there. There's something that's not sounding very very uh, pleasant to to hear. Now, when you bring in everything, obviously you're not gonna notice that. But a good thing just to get into practice is maybe compress it a little bit. For hip hop for hip hop kicks, I try to kind of go uh, in a different way, kind of put like a LA three A for example. So let's bring that up. Let's, you know, because I want to, I want to hear some, right? That's a little too much. Before. Right? Very subtle, guys. When you guys are, are, are looking into kicks, when you guys are, um, you know, when you guys are, are, especially when producing, make sure that you guys want to shape things. Every time you, you, you change a parameter, make sure that it is for a purpose. So here, all I did was kind of carve out the dirt, carve out this mid-range. Let's say if this was a snare, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this so much, right? I would kind of, I, I would take off more of the one to to five k, you know, the opposite, which makes sense, right? That's why you hear the kick and the snare; they're opposite. Same thing with frequencies, guys. So yes, that is a how to mix a hip hop kick. <laughs>